Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to discuss about how to zip and unzip files in .NET like a pro. Are you familiar that Microsoft having a native solution to deal with all operations regarding zip, ar zip archive? Probably you haven't heard of it. Zip files are a very common way to compress and bundle multiple files and folders. They are also used in some popular formats like docs and ebub. Since version 4.5, the .NET framework has a built-in class called zip archive that can create and extract zip files. This class is also a part of .NET Standard and .NET Core, so you can use it across different platforms. So let's dig in. Today's agenda is number one, how to create a zip file with Microsoft API. Number two, how to read a zip file with Microsoft API. So let's get started. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. All right, let's move on how to create a zip file with Microsoft API. Using Microsoft API, you must follow a few simple steps carefully. Knowing about IO streams very well is important since IO plays a significant role here. Zip archive can't be instantiated without a basic stream. This little bit piece of code gets you the file simple.zip, which you can also open with any zip tool or your OS Explorer. File.create create an empty file in the file system to create a simple archive. Zip archive objects are always in the mode of zip archive mode dot read, zip archive mode dot update, or zip archive mode dot create. Your file does not contain any content here. Let's change that. Zip files can have any number of entries. You describe a file with its name and content whenever you add it. This type of entry can be created with the method create entry. It offers your two overloads to choose from. The first argument specifies the name and the other specifies the compression labels. Labels can be ranges from optimal, fastest, no compression, small size. So open returns a stream which can be used to influence the entry content. Here's how you could use the stream writer to write the line world of zip inside the file in the zip archive. Note, the first using declares a scope using the bracket which frees the inner using at the end. As a result, it gets rid of all flying stream stuff and all the inner components correctly. So moving on to the next thing which is how to read a zip file with Microsoft API. You should be able to read the files you create to do this, you simply need to make a few adjustments in the code. To, the getEntry method is used instead of createEntry. In addition, you have to specify the archive mode in this case. Read when you instantiate zip archive. The stream reader allows you to read the line of the file instead of zip archive and get it into your line variable. If you are not sure about your code, you can always open the actual file with your favorite program. Now you can create zip archive with the content of your desired and read them back out easily with the two classes mentioned here. You have got few helpers from Microsoft zip files for instance make it even faster to create or read archive. It's pretty handy to have these four methods for example to open archives Doing this means you don't have to call the API twice. However, create from directory and extract to directory are most useful ones. These let you create an archive from a folder or extract an existing archive into a folder. In addition, Microsoft added zip file extensions, which has some auxiliary methods. You can use it to unpack a zip archive completely or the extract to directory method to unpack a single zip file. An existing file can be easily converted into a zip file with create from file. Thus, you can very elegantly add a whole file to the archive without manually copying streams. 
Also, you should be excited about Zip Archive being an extension method of Zip file extensions. Now you have explored the Zip Archive class in more detail. Besides, you know that Microsoft offers you anything you need to handle CRUD operations. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you want to join our free tuition, then you can go towards startuphack.com slash start now and click here to win a free tuition. Thank you.